Hi students, how are you this time? I hope that you are all in good health and safe wherever you are right now. My name is Teacher Jong. I am your Pratom 3 math teacher in Prichanusa School. Now, welcome to our mathematics class. Before we proceed to our lesson today, I want you to sing with me this action song. Alright, are you ready? Okay, let's sing this song. Ready, go! Let's get ready to count to 20. Get ready! Go! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Jump! 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Jump, 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 stop. Spin, 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 stop. Let's sing one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jump! Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Jump, 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 stop. Spin, 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 stop. I can count to twenty. Okay. So, now, our topic for today is about reading and writing numbers up to 100,000. Okay, so you know students, you know class, numbers can be written into two ways. First, it can be written in figures or what we call Hindu Arabic numerals. Figures, we use number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on. Example, we have here number 95. Okay? Next, we have here 623. And last example, we have here number 3954. So, these are the examples of writing numbers in figures or Hindu Arabic numerals. Okay? So, Sikan. Numbers can be written also in words. So, words use letters. Usually take longer to write. Examples. We have here number 95. If we write this in words, it would be like this. So, look at the spelling here. 95 can be written 95. Okay? Another example. 623. If we write this in words, it would be like this. 623. Okay? And the last one here, example, if you write number 3,954, it would be like this. Look at here. 3,964. Okay, so these are the examples in writing numbers in words. Okay? Now, let's try to remember how to write numbers from 1 to 20. 
in words. And most of the rest of the numbers are easy. Okay? So look at here. If you write these numbers in words, take note the correct spelling of the word. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, these are the examples of writing numbers in 1 up to 20. And the rest are these follows. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. Okay? So these are uh, the numbers written in words. So take note here. The spelling of the words very important. Okay? In order to say our numbers, we need to follow a few simple rules. Rule number one. All two-digit numbers higher than 20 have a hyphen in between them unless they end with a zero. Examples here. Uh, examples, number ends with a zero. We have here number 30. So, three, zero. So, no need to put hyphen, just write 30. But the rule says, if higher than 20, you need to put hyphen in between. Example, 59, 59. Nine. So, 50 does 9. So, 59. Take note the hyphen in between. Okay? Another example here. 75. 70 hyphen 5. So, take note. And last example here we have uh, 100 and 32. 32. There is a hyphen in between. 32. So, so, this is how to write the numbers higher than 20 by writing a hyphen in between. So, these are the examples of rule number 1. Okay. Rule number two, if a column has a zero in it, you don't need to say anything for that column. Okay? For example, four, zero, five. Okay? We can read this as four hundred and five. So, you see there, four, zero, and 5. So, in reading this number, you don't need to say anything for the zero column. You cannot say 400.5. Okay? Because the rule says, you don't need to say anything for that column. So, therefore, 405, it can be read 400. And five or four hundred five. Okay, another example here. Five zero zero. So you cannot say it's a five hundred zero zero. No. It's uh, five hundred. Okay. Another example here. Two zero zero eight. So it can be read two. Thousand and eight. 
You didn't need to say anything for the zero column according to the rule. So take note. This is how to read numbers. 2008, 2008. So another year, 6015. 6015. So the zero here, you don't need to say anything for that column. So just read 6015. Okay? So you got it? I hope you understand this rule. Okay. Now, let's try to read these numbers here. You can see here. So let's try to uh, read this and write in words. So you can see here we have number 514. So if you write this in Thai numerals, so yes, you can read it here. So if we write this in words, it will be like this. 540. Alright? Second number here, we have 647 or 647. 647. So, you can see here uh, in Thai numerals and in words. And the last one here, example, uh, 769. So you can see here also the Hindu Arabic numerals, the Thai numerals, and in words. So this is how to read, uh, write the number in words. Okay, another example here. Let's try to uh, write this number in words. So, for example, we have here number uh, 35,162. Okay, so look at here. 35,162. So, this is how to write this number in words. So how about this one? Another example here. Writing these numbers in figures. Or writing these numbers in Hindu Arabic numeral. Uh, look at here. So we have here uh, 14,320. So this is the answer. Uh, this is how to write these uh, words in figures. Alright? Do you understand? Now, think about how to write the following numbers here. Okay? I will give you five minutes to answer these numbers here. First, write this number in words. So we have here 6969542. We have here 3123. And the last one we have here 26945. Okay? Another one here. Write this uh, words in figures. So we have here 96, 150, 2,825, and 18,912. So write this in figures. Alright? Are you ready? So I'll give you 5 minutes to answer this. And after that, let's see. If you will get the correct answer here. Let's see the answer later. Okay? Your time starts now.
Did you get it? Is it easy? Okay, these are the answers. So the first part we have here, writing numbers in words, 69. 542, 3,123. Next, 26,945. Okay, the second one, writing these words in figures. So we have here 96, 150, 2,825, and last one, 18,912. Alright, if you get the correct answer, great job. Okay, look at here. Let's try to count and read these numbers here. So, you can see here, how many number one here? So, you can see, there are ten ones. Next, how about this? How many ten? How many tens here? So you can count here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if you add this 10 tens, the answer is 100. So if there are 10 tens, so the total is 100. Okay, so another one here. So how many 100 here? There are ten hundreds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten hundreds. So if you add this ten hundreds, the total is one thousand. Okay. Next we have here uh, ten. Thousands. So you count how many 1,000 here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 thousands. So if you add this, then we have a total of 10 thousand. Okay. How about this one? How many 10 thousands here? So there are 10 also. So if you count the 10,000 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10, 10 thousands. So if you add this, so the total is 100,000. So this is how to uh, read the numbers. Okay, especially uh, until hundred thousands. Okay, so look at here. What do these groups of numbered discs represent? So you can count this number of discs, and there is a specific number in each disc. So first, we have how many one thousand here? There are two. And how many? 100. So there are three hundreds. So how many? 10. One, 10 only. And how many? One. There are four. So if you add this together, so the total is 2,000. 314. So if you write this in Thai numeral, so look at here, this is uh, the number. And if you write this number in words, so uh, we can, it would be read like this 2314. Okay? Another one example here. 
uh, what do these groups of number discs represent? So if you try to look at this, how many 10,000 here? So 1, 2, 3, there are 3, 10, thousands. How many 1,000? 1, 2, there are 2. How many hundreds? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there are 5. 100, okay? How many tens? 1, 2, 3, 4, there are 4. How many one? One, two, three. So if you add this all together, we have the total of uh, 32,543. Okay, again, we have the total of 32,500. And 43. So if you write this in tiny numerals, so you can see here. And if you write this in words, it would be like this. You can read 32,543. Alright, so this is how to read and write numbers in figures and in words okay for your practice try to look at here answer this uh, exercise here for your practice okay you can see a number of this here so count and write in numerals and words so you count how many uh, ten thousands one thousands, one hundred, tens, and ones. And then you add this all together. You write this in first Hindu, Arabic numerals, Thai numerals, and in words. Okay, number two, the same. Count and write this in numerals and words. So first in Hindu, Arabic numerals, Thai numerals, and in words. Alright, so I will give you two minutes to do it. Let's try to show the answer after two minutes. Okay, so time starts now. Ten thousands. 
So there are one, two, three, four. Four. There are four. Ten thousands. How many thousands? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven one thousands here. How many hundreds? One, two, three, four, five. So there are five uh, hundreds. How many tens? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight tens. How many ones? One, two. So there are two. So if you add this all together, we have the number forty-seven thousand five hundred and eighty-two. Again. We have the total of 47,582. So, if you write this in tiny numerals, if you write this in words, yes, you can see here. 47,582. Okay, number two, how many 10,000s here? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7, 10 thousands. How many 1 thousands here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, there are 5. So how many hundreds? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, there are 9 hundreds. How many tens? 1, Two, three, four. So there are four tens. How many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six ones. So if you add this all together, we get the number of seventy-five thousand nine hundred and forty-six. Okay, you write this in Indo-Arabic numerals. And write this in Thai, you can see here. And if you write this in words, it would be like this. It would be written like this. 75,946. Okay? If you, if you got the correct answer, very good. Great job. Alright? So, I hope you understand and learn our first lesson for today. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell.